Alright, hello, um, this is Para, I am about to record myself, but I, I'm sorry if I sound out of it, I've literally just woken up and realised, remembered that I had this game installed, and that I want to give it a try and see why everybody on my Tumblr feed has been freaking out about this game called Off, apparently it's French translated, and it's a gem, that's all I know. All I know is that there's a batter involved, there's some purification to be done, there's a thing that looks like the Cheshire Cat, I really don't know much else. I'm going in blind, I certainly don't know the ending or even what the gameplay is like, aside from a few RPG-like screenshots, and it was made an RPG maker so I suppose that makes sense, but I think there's some shocking content. Hmm. But I'm looking forward to it. It seems very creative. And though I may not necessarily commentate the entire thing, and this certainly isn't going to be a walkthrough since this is a blind play. Maybe you'll find my reactions entertaining assigned to a being called the Batter. Batter Batter has an important mission. We should be sure that it's accomplished. Okay. The judge. Music's nice, I'll give it a... To move my body, use the arrows on this. Body. I guess that's hint number one. Eye raises. Oh god. Not in this is so scary. There cannot be any other living zero, so I must assume that you are only a mere figment of my imagination. Nevertheless, I will introduce myself. I am the judge. Oh, well that, that was easy. <laughs> da, 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 da. Mission accomplished. But I am aching to know your name, dear illusory interlocutor. Interlocutor. That's a new one on me. <laughs> Oh, it purrs. It is a pleasure. However, it is not the puppet I was addressing, but the puppeteer controlling it. What is your name, dear puppeteer? That's me. Huh. Her name is Para. She can't talk to us. Oh, oh okay. I wish she could hear and see everything. I feel like ceiling cat. Even though you too are but an inexistent apparition in my eyes, let it be said that I am delighted to meet you as well, dear Para. Wow. Well, must have serious faith. Okay. If you need to yourself, since many people are in need of my services, you know. Everybody loves cats. We rub ourselves against their legs and purr in the most insistent manner. They adore that. Oh, it's breaking the fourth wall. Already I like this. I'm not talking about that kind of help. I see, but what kind of service could I offer to an ectoplasmic entity? Ah. Okay. Are not trying to me or him? If it's ecto is he a ghost? I have a secret mission to fulfill. I must purify the world. There is no objective more laudable than yours. I accept to serve you as a guide through this area if it is of any help to you. Thanks. Oh, I could use a guide that's uh, handy. Did he go through here and disappear off the top of the screen? I feel like I should write this down. Grabs notebook. <laughs> but a moment. Four four eight two eight seven C. Okay. A 
Hello! Allow me to confess that I find you quite tangible for a phantasmagorial being. <laughs> Might you in fact be a creature of flesh and blood? I think so, yes. So I've been mistaken from the beginning. Oh, okay. You did not even interrupt me in my deluded fan <laughs> my deluded phantasms. This is relatively bizarre, I must say, for you're the first living being I was given a chance to encounter in this loop. I had in fact concluded that Zone Zero was an empty land, obviously I was misled. However, there exist other zones, and in those territories the risk of hostile individuals attacking you in the most violent manner is quite high. Yay! Your sacred mission will likely lead you into these lands. Would you like me to teach you the art of violent confrontation? Battle tutorial! <laughs> oh, okay. Wow. This here is the battle screen. As you can observe, you will find yourself placed at the right hand side of the screen. Your opponent, however, in this case yours truly, will be located on the left, the correct place for a single combat. Glad they all obey these rules. At the beginning of combat, you will be confronted with a choice. You have to decide whether to attack, auto, or flee. Auto is always a bad idea. Attack naturally permits you to engage the fight in a classical fashion. If auto is your decision, the computer will make the strategic choices in your place. No thank you! Making you simply the spectator. Does that make sense? I mean, am I puppeteering everything he does? Finally, flee, as its name indicates, is the option of the coward. I dehort this alternative. But now it is time for the offence. Choose attack, and select the batter, then choose attack, and you to off me with your bat. And you to off me. Oh, I see. Do not utilise the auto function. <laughs> the computer will not hold back, and I would take the risk of dying, taking my secrets with me to the grave. possible that you or your adversaries could avoid the, bar the barrage of attacks that you will throw at each other with slyness. On occasion, your cast iron will get you a critical hit. <laughs> you overcomplicate everything, which will cause teeth to fly in heaps. But let us move on, if you are willing to. You may have noticed that when you choose attack for the first time, you chose attack up for the first time, after you selected the batter, a new window opened itself in the lower right hand side of the screen. I did. There you have the choice between four new options. Attack leads to a soul strike against and likewise soul adversary. Competence permits you to use one of your special skills. Oh, I see. Objects will grant you any blah, blah. Finally, you have yet again the opportunity to flee. But remember solely that Batter is responsible for that option in his personal menu. How about trying to utilize an object? Take this luck ticket and use it on the Batter's person with gratitude. <laughs> Oh, wow. That was more violent than I expected. It covers a moderate amount of HP. I haven't lost any. Impeccable. Your mastery of battle borders on brilliant same idea. But there is one thing we have not yet addressed. Of course, talking about competences. They are generally, in layman's terms, special moves. They can trigger surprising effects may induce a resurgence of health points, or may in and of themselves, but may be in and of themselves powerful attack, so I'm hoping for the latter. Nevertheless, no less, any use of competences leads to a consumption of competence points. CP, okay? So I ask that you use these skills sparingly. <laughs> no. <laughs> Once your CP are completely consumed, it will be impossible to carry out heavy assaults. And if you happen to cross swords with a tougher opponent before being able to get some more CP, victory will be uncertain. Try it right away. <laughs> Do it anyway. Choose competence and try using the wide angle, which will allow you to analyze your enemy. Okay. Analyzes the enemy's characteristics. Oh. The judge, an odd appearing cryptic cat. 
HP 300. Less resistance. Eh, eh, eh. Love it if he actually laughed like that. <laughs> you now know not only all about me, but also about the art of combat. About the wide angle. Know that its analysis will always, always be based on the start of the battle. Thus, it may accidentally analyze adversaries who have already knocked out for a long time. The confrontation ends, theoretically, when the health points of your team or all of your opponents fall to zero. Take good care of your health if you want a successful career in purification. From now on, you will be ready to crush all impure obstacles that get in your luminous mission's way. Well, supposing your intelligence is on the same level with your undeniable capability of dealing back blows to an innocent cat. <laughs> Be it as it may, your training has not reached its end. Okay. Let me ask you to follow me if you still want me as your guide. Oh, the fuck does he do that? I'm going to go see this. Oh, okay. Enough of mine. It's impossible to get around this obstacle, is it? Lock ticket here! Can I not? Nope, oh, okay. It's a box, but. I feel like these are important somehow. <laughs> Ah yes, to pass through here you need to use your cerebral organ. <laughs> you know, the one bathing flab <laughs> flabbily in your tired cranium. I believe those floating blocks correspond to the symbols you can see on the wall in some way or another. Okay. Does that mean the one outside has moved? We shall see. Oh, maybe that's the outside meant. Okay, I think I know what this is. After all that exertion, the eagerly awaited recompense makes its entrance to the scene. Uh, uh. <sighs> Aha! So I did need to write down those numbers. <laughs> four, four, uh, five, uh, six, seven, eight, eight, eight two. Seven bottom. I am a bit good. Uh, crunch, crunch. <laughs> yum, 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 yum. So I can go out that way to get the box. Or not. Oh, I think that means I can go this way. Yeah, there we go. Piece of silver flesh has been. Oh. Uh oh. Um. Now for my recompense. Here is an accessory that is going to be especially helpful on your purifying quest, dear enlightened student and sportive friend. It is a cube. Companion cube! Hovering in midair, as you have likely noticed. Nevertheless, you will be able to differentiate it from similar ones by the contrast of bad taste it imposes on your view of its clashing colour, defying any sensible course of plastic arts. Considering I've seen some of the worlds in this game are bright, bloody magenta, I don't think that's too insulting at the moment. However, do not judge it too quickly, because despite its criticisable appearance, this red cube is of undeniable use. Aside from rendering you the entirety of your health and competence points, it is capable of saving your progress and sending you to the nothingness. Um, the nothingness is a loo of transition outside of space itself, where you can travel from one point to another at the speed of light. Oh. Okay. 
I now invite you to try it out in order to discover locations more populous than this deserted land. Open your wings, my dear companion, and hurry away towards the following zones without hesitation. Your only enemy is the fear that will grab you. Okay. <laughs> so eloquent. Do not worry, I too travel a lot through the different zones of the world. We will newly meet one another eventually without, without a doubt. Ah, by the way, take this. This object of a curious name will be the key that permits you to enter zone 1. Have I clarified that you can at any time consult your inventory and characteristics by pressing the escape key? Leo card. Oh, okay. I'm level 2, yay! Wow, hit points went up by a lot. Okay. Health points and competence points completely restored, so okay. God. Uh. Oh, wow, I don't like this. Oh, uh, I heard somebody say kill. Oh, my God. Um. God, that wasn't very nice. Uh, health points are coming. Okay. That the room did look interesting, but uh, not so long as it's highlighted in red. <laughs> uh, Nestle. Elsa. I'll, I'll write that down. Seems having a notebook handy is very useful while playing this game. Uh, train number one is a really useful means of transport to get about zone one. Oh, this is... is this where I meet... I'm going to Damien. Creative, but uh, creepy so far. Okay, so it was written correctly, so that was Elson. Train number two hasn't been active for a long time. Oh. A visitor. Welcome to the smoke mines. Um, may I know who you are? Are you an inspector? No, I'm the batter. I've come to exterminate the impure spirits. Batter, the impure spirit. Oh? Are you some kind of prophet? Or perhaps a man of belief? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> I sent you. Nobody. I'm being led by Para. Hi! I don't know her. She must be a member of the superior personnel. You bet your ass I am. In any case, that's good. It means our requests have been acknowledged. Here, I'm going to explain your task. <coughs> oh god. Meh. Um, you're at the smoke mines of Damien, the southern part of Stone One. Wow. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Here we send workers into deep tunnels to unearth metal from the ground, freeing embedded smoke that was trapped in the depths. Thanks to a variety of tools, we were able to put some of it in the bottles, which the Queen sends to the other zones. Oh man! The rest of it flows free, forming the air that our lungs inhale and exhale, so we can live. As the first of four elements, it's an important element. Because 
because without smoke, people would have nothing to breathe. talks like that. So there we are. And so, finally, um, how do I put this? Where are the impures? Yes, there we go. There are many spectres in the mines. They are becoming more and more aggressive. But in fact, it would be better if you didn't enter the mines because, because the regulations forbid visitors. Fuck the fucking regulations. So uh, here's what we're gonna do. There's an annex tunnel that nobody ever goes to, but a miner went in there some time ago and he saw something strange, he said, nothing like the usual. So I thought, maybe it's the chief of the spectres. So I'm skipping all of the grinding and going straight for the boss. This RPG knows what it's fucking doing. So there's your task. If you accept, you'll go into the annex tunnel and kill the chief of the spectres. Then, the spectres will disappear and we can work properly again. There we go. There we, uh... Do you have any questions? No. Great. Impeccable. The tunnel is right down there. I'll wait here. Brave man. Explore. Make sure I don't see the codes and shit. Soon I'll be promoted and I'll be a supervisor in Alma. I'm anxious for the day to arrive. Oh shit, there was a chest. Bleh. Fuck. Luck ticket. Those are right. 